Well, the project at hand this morning is to take this old Lincoln cracker box and change some welding leads. I don't know. You know, these are still pretty good, you know. I mean, you, you can barely see the wire in them. And that's the ground. Mind you, this is the hot, and this was not stripped. This was peeled back by itself. There's another spot right here under the tape, and you can see. So, last thing you want to do is lay this on the workbench, and then prop yourself up on the workbench with your sweaty elbow, and burn yourself or electrify yourself. So, these are the original leads this machine came with when I bought it in 1901. So um, these have been extended, and that's what these are, was, you know, some 10 or 15 foot extensions. And the extensions are still good, so we're going to save those. I got some new wire to replace this. So we're going to open the machine up. We're going to fish our two leads out of it, make some new ends, get that reattached. We'll throw these away and make some new leads. Once the new leads are on, we'll extend them with that and tape them up and should be ready for action. I do a lot of welding right in the front of the shop and uh, lately I've been having to either bring the diesel over or uh, use the little wire feed and so the cracker box has been not being used much. So we're gonna freshen up and get her back in action. So we got a lot of welding to do and it'll be nice to have this one as well as the, the diesel, especially when you don't wanna, don't wanna do it. Uh, don't wanna listen to the diesel rather. And the diesel's also got a bearing that's out right now. So getting ready to pull a uh, bearing and swap that out, freshen him up. So let's get to it. All right, let's see if we can. It's been a long time since I pulled this down. And last time I pulled it down, this thing was flimsy as all get out. So let's see if I can remember. Remember what I did or remember what not to do. Okay, so right here is the back of your DC AC power switch and the negative is coming up to right here and it ties in here and jumps across so I do not want to be breaking this solder connection. So I'm going to make a mark right here, we're going to cut that and then this is our hot and this is coming up into right here and similar thing kind of a shoved in soldered connection i don't want to mess with so we're going to see if we can make a cut here and here and we're going to put some uh either butt connectors or some bolt together unions and see if we can tape that up make that work and we'll leave this uh alone because most of it's getting just old from out here in the weather all right let me uh get a few things together see if we can make that happen all right i'm gonna move this so y'all can see this is gonna come in handy later all right so again i'm gonna get some i'm gonna see if i have some heat shrink that'll go over this and i'm gonna cut this 
in this area and hopefully that'll be a good convenient area for tying in a couple of these and bolting the thing together and that'll save us from having to undo these crimped soldered connections because I'm worried looks like they shove the wire under there and squeeze them and solder them and that's I don't think I'm ever going to get that right if we go back that way so let me see if I can find some heat shrink to put on here and get a razor knife and we'll get these crimped All right, so we're just using a little rubber stretch tape. Kind of insulate this thing where it may rub. And this stuff should usually stick, but I usually will put a, a little tie wrap or something on it. Keep it from wanting to unravel. Stripped up. Alright guys, we got the other side cut, stripped back, and these are in. We're gonna put them in there. Always put them to the. I put them to the back first, get a good bite, and then bring it to the front. we're gonna run these together bolt them and cut them off and tape them up all right guys so we're gonna take this we're gonna pin this up this thing is long-winded as get out but I'm gonna see if I got a 13 deep 
and run it up with the electric. Now we can see if we can run this long-winded rascal all the way up. Okay, I do not want it that tight because I got to figure out the angle. So this one should be straight. We're gonna, we're gonna go straight with him. And I think we're gonna go straight here too. All right, guys. After a slight little manicure with the with the die grinder, I've got this side. See if I can get up under here where y'all can see. So you can see that we got that fat area where the bolt goes, and we got it zip tied out the way. And then this is our hot lead, and we're gonna let these stay inboard, I believe. This one may have to stick out in the front. Might have to see how they go. But uh, we're gonna take this limp mess of bs and try and get it all back in the cage so let me set y'all up where y'all can see So we got all of this back together. I uh, didn't get too much of it on footage because in order to get all of this screwed back up into the front, it doesn't leave very much room in the back. And a lot of this stuff doesn't like to move very well because it's, you know, medium gauge wire and everything and heavy straps. So we put these strings on here and that would allow us to fish our lines and these strings are running right through the screw mounts for the um for the adjustment knobs and that was a, it kind of allowed us to pull everything in get some screws lined up and get started so that works for the front this uh on off switch you got enough room to reach in by hand but most of this stuff up here not really so we're gonna move around to the back and basically all we got to do like i said this stuff's sitting in here so we just got to kind of line it up and get it uh back into the into the holes and all that kind of stuff make sure everything's hooked up good <laughs> Thank you. 
so we got our wires all stripped up. Let me make sure I'm putting the right one on the right one. Alright. So I'm using these quick connects. And these are, uh, you know, just standard LC10 quick connects. The extensions that I had on the old leads were uh, kind of, I guess you call it a butt connector or some places call it a sleeve, but um, you know, we're gonna go with these. And the other thing is on these, to make sure that you don't have to mark your hot leads and your grounds so that you don't accidentally change your own polarity, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one set, because we've got the male and the female, so we're gonna use one set on each side of the machine so that way, and one and the matching set over there, so it can only go one way. So, as you saw, we had this stripped. I'm gonna go ahead and start this just for for the ease of it. All right. So, what do I want to have here? I don't guess it matters. Let me get some tighten up my little braid here. We're gonna get this in there. Well, this goes on first, and I might have messed myself up a little bit by splicing my wire a little early, but I think we'll, I think we'll be able to save it. So if you slide this on before splicing it, you take a lot less chance of getting your wire all frayed up. This is going to slide back up, and then this little set screw is going to drop back in there and hold it all together for us. So this is going to be the hot lead on the machine, and again, I'm not going to the. Uh, Not going to the whip side just yet. This is the hot, the, I'm just gonna do the machine side with both of these. And that way, when you grab the leads to the machine, you got one hot, or one male, one female. So if you had both of these male and both of your whips female, you can swap them around and accidentally change your polarity. We don't wanna do that. So we're gonna put that on. Now we're gonna back this out. That's a good thing to do with like hydraulic fittings or anything. Anything that's directional needs to go one way. You know, put it where it can only go one way and you make it idiot proof. I'm not trying to say nothing about nobody, but sometimes idiot proof comes in quite handy. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so we're gonna take this Now these are C10s or what are these? These are LC10s, okay? They also have LC40s. You can trim these to different diameter cables. These are set up to go with these twos. So everything works good together like that. But uh, if you have some heavy cables, which I'm probably gonna make it to where I can use these whips on my big, on the big Lincoln and if so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'll have all of them matching as far as the, you know, the, the type and size of Quick Connect. That way, if I need to use one, uh, on, you know, wanna swap and use this whip on the big machine, I can do it. 
right, so we got that snugged up. set screw in here so that's our machine leads and now we'll do them the other way so again just double checking our machine lead was positive here so on the whip, we're going to use the female, a positive. Of course, the, the machine, anyway. It's getting too hot out here, guys. So positive lead from the machine with a male in. Positive whip, going to have a female in. So again, just back the little set screw out. Pop out the insert. Back this almost all the way out. All right. Get your wire straight. And slide this over. Sliding back up, nothing to it. We'll drop our little set screw. And there we go. We're ready to do hot lead to hot lead. There it is. All right, I'm going to do the ground real quick. And I'll do that on time lapse for y'all. this thing up we're gonna throw some casters back on it I've had this machine for a while in uh, oh lord in the early 90s this thing was uh, a drink holder slash uh, end table next to the recliner in my apartment and we had wheels on it we'd roll it right out the living room and do some welding repairs in the parking lot and roll it back in and then we moved out here we figured well we got other welders so this will stay stationary but anyhow so we're going to be uh using this in some different capacities so we're gonna go ahead and set it up where we can have some mobile rollability and we're gonna get that done right here this evening before we knock off
Well, I'm not gonna pick that up and put it on the wheels to show y'all while it's on the bench because I know exactly what'll happen. She'll skateboard right off of here and we'll have a problem. So I'm gonna get it, uh, get ready to pick it up with the tractor or something, set it on the ground. So anyway, that's changing leads on a old Lincoln Cracker Box. Uh, wish it had come out a little bit better and a little bit more thorough, but these things just aren't conducive to filming behind there with the way the case comes apart and everything. But we'll have it rolling around and burning some rods in no time. All right, guys, y'all got any comments or questions or suggestions, hit us up in the comments. Throw us a like and subscribe if you want. And also, um, just keep on watching. We're going to keep putting out some stuff for y'all. All right, well, that's all I got for now. We'll see y'all on the next one.